Here you go. All 10 Quinn Hacks in one short video. As of November 1st, 2019, the Quinn Hack videos have been viewed around the world over 50 million times. We would love if you'd stick around after this video and take a look at our new video blog that we started called Faith, Hope, and Chaos, where we show you what it's like to raise seven kids who were all born within three years of each other. We know how precious time is, so we thank you for spending a few minutes of it with our family. We would also love if you would subscribe to our channel and you'll be the first to know as we upload the year two Quinn Hack. We've been at this for almost a year now, so we want to share with you our top 10 Quinn Hacks to show you that getting through this first year with quintuplets or higher order multiples is doable. So these are some things that we suggest or recommend um, and some little tricks that we've come up with uh, so that we could survive the first year. So check them out. If you're trying to figure out what the best vehicle is, if you're having quintuplets or any kind of multiples um, where you're having four, five, six, seven children, um, this is the way to go, we think. It's a Ford F-350 Transit. It's a 15-seater. So let me show you inside. We took out three seats in the back row so that you can, we can fit the uh, two strollers. They're underneath that blanket right there. We got the high roofs. We got the two older girls here. Mom and I sit right there. This is awesome because there's nothing here in the middle so you can walk right to the back, pull over and change some diapers. And I'll show you how we do that in the back. We got the uh, Peg Perego car seats here. They're lightweight and they're a little bit or narrow so they can fit side by side on these seats just fine. Up in the front, sometimes the older girls get really bored. So I installed this computer monitor, it's under 100 bucks. I built this wood structure back here, bolted it to the console that was already there. That cost me only a few dollars to build that. A lot less expensive than buying one of the DVD players and screens that you can actually have installed in the car for over a thousand bucks. Keep in that back seat, it's, it's bolted to the wall. You could take it out. And then you see there's a piece of wood. If you look under, under here, it's actually got two holes cut into it. By doing that, you use the existing headrests to hold the board secure and then take a regular changing pad, set that on top, and then you can change your babies on the go. And then I just, uh, to the back of this, I attached a little um, wood shelf here where we put the wipes, and then we usually have the um, hand sanitizer there. And there we go, we got a mobile changing station, and then we use the seat down there with this basket for extra diapers and other things. There we go, that's the van. Amy and I wanted a place where the entire family could sit together at the same table and have dinner. So I drew up some plans on a piece of paper. I gave those to my dad. My dad went to work in his workshop and created this beautiful table. I really love the length of the table with the quince down at one end where one of us can feed the babies. And then at the other end, one of us can sit with the older two girls and have dinner. It's also great for the kids to play. They love to sit at the table and interact with one another. And then of course it serves its intended purpose and we're able to feed all five of the babies while sitting in one spot. So the way that we used to heat the bottles is we would mix the formula inside the bottles and then we would throw it in this Baby Breeza bottle warmer, hit the buttons and then it would take about two and a half minutes to warm the bottle to the correct temperature. And then you have to wait a few minutes for it to cool down and then you can do another one. That's great for one baby but when you're doing five you can't wait um, that long for each bottle to be heated up. So we came up with a, a much quicker method using this um, water dispenser. It gives you both um, cold and hot water. So if you do 50% cold water, 50% hot water, um, it gives you the exact temperature that the babies like. So I'm gonna show you how quickly it can be done making five bottles using this method. So here we go. So you gotta take out the uh, insides of these bottles. Right now our kids are doing seven ounces of water with three and a half scoops of formula. That's 
one exact temperature that the babies like. Everyone's got seven ounces of water. Open up your formula, scoop it in, and then do however many scoops you need to do. Stir it up, and then you're good to go. If you want to save even more time, take one of these mixers. You can fill this half with cold water, whatever, however many ounces you're going to need total. Half cold water, half hot water. Put all the formula inside here, put this on. This is a mixer that can mix it all up and then just pour out your bottles. That's the quicker way to do it. So an idea that we came up with when we're changing the babies for bed is to lay down the pajamas on top of each other so that we could just change one baby after another and not have to keep setting up over and over again. So lay them each down and then make sure to unzip them um, as you do it so that as soon as you set the baby on top you can just start putting the baby inside just like this. So something that we came up with so that we could feed all the babies at the same time are we got these things from Home Depot. We've been calling them baby bendies. I don't know what their real name is. Uh, but they're bendable like this. We basically just take these and we drop them in the mamaroos like this. And we do that the same for all of them. Once they're in there, we can take the bottles and then prop them, bend them around the bottle like this and like this and the babies the uh, bottles are at exactly the right height that we need to feed the babies all at the same time. Of course, it can be dangerous if you were to leave the babies feeding by themselves because they could choke uh, and not be able to get the bottle out of their mouth. So you want to stay there and watch them when you're doing it. And then I also take this opportunity to uh, check their temperatures each night with this uh, Medline um, scanner. It's pretty cool. It's really quick. Amy's back there, she's feeding each of the babies. Boom. The girls usually sit in this row. Noelle first, then Gabriella back there. Hi, Mom. Hi. You got Grayson down there. Then you got Preston. And then Lincoln. When the quints were first discharged from the hospital, they were on this sideline feeding where they lay sideways and then the bottle needs to be given to them at an angle like this. Here's a photo of when we were um, feeding all of them at the same time on these boppies. We had two side by side and then we had two boppies pressed together with one baby there in the middle. And that way the two of us could feed all five babies at the same time. Now that they're older, They've outgrown the boppies. They're actually they're too big in size to fit on here anymore, and they're they're sitting, leaning back when they're drinking the bottles. Um, so now what we use are these um, seats called table for two. This is two seats connected right here, and then there's another two there, and then two more in the back. If you can get them used, that's awesome. Uh, you can save a lot of money doing that. 
Um, so this is a great product if you have twins because uh, a mom or dad can sit there and hold two bottles for the twins at the same time and get the feeds done uh, simultaneously. It doesn't work obviously um, when you have five babies and only one person is doing the feeds. So we came up with a way that we could utilize this and the cool features that this has um, but do it for all five babies and we can feed all of the babies at the same time. Um, when we feed them this way um, one person can feed all the babies in under 15 minutes. Um, so we lounge the babies back in here, I'll show you in a minute. Um, I built this, it's just out of a few pieces of wood. Um, just, you know, screwed this piece together here, same here, and then on this end, um, I put two holes in the top here, got some chain, you'll find out the right length, create these circles in the chains by just linking two of the pieces together. I'll show you that a little bit better. Um, you just take one of the links apart and then you, you create a circle because that's where the bottle's going to go. And then do the measurements right, you can fit this right over the top of the, the table for two. Um, and then you take the bottle here, put it in the first chain, it fits right over these bottles. I don't know how it'll work with your specific bottle type, but um, that fits well and it holds onto the neck right there. And then the back piece fits around the back of the bottle and it's the right length right um, angle for the baby for it to go into their mouth and for the milk to keep going through. So when we set this up, we're about to bring in the babies now. Um, we just dangle the, the bottles like that. So let me get all those set up. And then that gets us ready for the feed. We plop the babies right in there. And, and then we hook up the bottom piece and start the feeds. Alright, so that's set up. You know it's coming up. Alright. So something else that we use, and we have used since the day that the babies came home from the NICU, is uh, called an outlet. It monitors their oxygen and their pulse. Um, it's hard, and it was hard for us, to be in the NICU every day and be staring at those monitors, and then to come home and then just think that the babies are going to be okay from that point forward. So we were nervous, we did some research on all the different products that were out there, and Outlets had the best reviews and we tried out a couple different ones and these seem to be the best for us. Um, so that's not really the hack, but that's a, a big recommendation that we both have, Amy and I. The hack is something that my cousin came up with um, and that's being able to monitor all five of the babies at the same time on a single device. Um, right now the Outlet app only allows you to have one app on your iPhone or your Android or whatever you have. Um, and so you can only be logged in and be monitoring one at a time. Um, you don't need that if you're just going to use the base station that comes with the outlet um, and use that as your alarm system, then that's fine. But if you want to be able to monitor and track um, real time, then you need to use a hack. And, and the hack that my cousin came up with uh, for Android devices is there's something called an app cloner. I don't know much about it. I'm not 
that much of a tech guy, but what you're able to do with an app cloner is you see here there's one, two, three, four, five Owlet apps. Um, by having that, you can have all, all apps, all um, babies being monitored at the same time, so all, all five of our children are on there at the same time, and they're, the alarms go off for all of them, you can look at all of them. Um, you can have one open at a time, or you can scroll through them the way I just did, or you can look at two at a time if you, let's see, turn it sideways, hold on to this, you drag one to this side of the screen, and then have two. So you can monitor two at the same time and you can switch between these. Uh, very cool and it was a game changer for us because we were um, trying to figure out how we can be looking at all of their oxygen levels at the same time. Um, and the app cloner um, did the trick for us. So thank you, Jeremy. It's really simple to put on the outlets. Let me show you how I do it with Lincoln here. If you don't get a snug fit right there, then you'll get false alarms. So make sure you, you pull it tight and get a snug fit. And then that's it. Then do the same thing for each of the babies. When they're feeding like this, this is a good opportunity to put these on. Because they're content with their bottles. These are the outlet base stations. If you have multiples, we recommend writing the child's name on each of those. So there's Lincoln's our first one, Noel, and so on. We keep them in the baby's birth order, so we always know if it's the third one down that that's Grayson, fourth one down that's Preston, and so on. It's easier, easier for us to, if we do get any kind of an alarm, um, which we rarely do. Sometimes we've had um, low oxygen for Grayson at the very beginning. Um, but we've been good since then. Um, it's easier to know which one's which, and then keeping their names on it keeps things um, organized also. We also recommend getting one of these multiple USB things so you can plug them all in at the same time um, and keep that right there. And then the other end of this just goes right to a power cord. And then once you plug them in, then they all go on at the same time. You'll see them cycle through the different colors from white to blue to green, just letting you know that all those colors are working. Then when they're all on green, that means it's ready to go. Um, what's cool about keeping it stacked like this is that you can push down on the top and they can all turn off at the same time. And then again, turning them back on, push down on it and they all turn on at the same time. When we first brought the babies home, we got a bunch of diapers from family and friends, every kind you can think of. Um, we use them all because we can use any diaper that we could get. Um, but when we have a choice, we go with this Bambo Nature. Um, it's not made with any kind of chemicals or anything, so it helps prevent diaper rashes and other things. Of course, it's good for the environment. That's always a plus, too. Um, and we've used other types that are like that, that are green diapers, you know, green products. Um, but then the quality sometimes falls short. What we found with these is that they're obviously, if you do the research on all the different companies and, and the types of um, diapers that they make and then the, the stuff that they use to make them. Um, do it, look, look those up for everybody and then um, make sure to look up Bambo diapers because you'll see that, that they're unique compared to some other ones. Looks like Lincoln's done with his bottle. Hi. So a common thread running through all these hacks is that they hopefully keep you and the babies happy and healthy. And the best way to keep the babies healthy is the proper nutrition. Of course, mother's milk is the best nutrition that they can get, but for preemies and when you're dealing with multiples, it can be difficult to produce enough milk for all the babies and for them to gain the, the right amount of weight um, because obviously they're born so premature that they don't have a lot of fat. Um, we did our research and what we found for the best option for our babies was this Enfamil Enficare. And we, we consulted with the doctors and the nutritionists, um, and this seems to be the best. Go, so go through and look through all the different brands and look at the ingredients. What we found with this one, um, it's got something called NeuroPro, and it's got this MFGM, and it's, a, it's, it's um, milk fat globule membrane. I think that's how you pronounce it. 
MFGM and DHA, both of those are important for brain development. So you want your babies to be healthy and you want to provide them with the best head start in life that you can and, and get them ready for when they're, they're learning things. And they, they're already starting at a disadvantage because they're born so prematurely. Our babies were born at 27 weeks, so they have some, some catching up to do. So um, we're doing the right things for their brains and they've also gained a significant amount of weight. All, we're almost at one year now and all the babies are between 19 and 23 pounds. Um, so this definitely adds on the weight that they need and it's doing the right thing for their brains. Look it up. Um, you'll see that the ingredients in here are different than any of the other um, choices that are out there. So we recommend this Enfamil Enfacare. It's our, um, I think the most important thing that we've been doing for our babies. And we're going to call it a hack because I don't think everybody um, does the research. They just grab what's on the shelf. Um, look it up. Do your research. This, this is the best right here. Those are the top 10 quint hacks we have for the first year. Do you have any that we missed? We're not done with the first year yet, so if you have anything else for their first year, please let us know. And then, if you have anything that could help us when they're between the ages of one and two, uh, that would be helpful because we're about to enter that pretty soon. And Grayson is already on the move. We would love if you would stick around after this video and take a look at our new video blog that we started called Faith, Hope, and Chaos, where we show you what it's like to raise seven kids who were all born within three years of each other. We know how precious time is, so we thank you for spending a few minutes of it with our family. We would also love if you would subscribe to our channel and you'll be the first to know as we upload the year two quick. August 24th, we just found out. Yeah. So we have five babies growing in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Five babies. Woo!